This is it. This is the last video of 2015. And uh, before I get to this, thank you guys for the support, for the view, for the subscribing. Uh, I hope we get to more subscribe by next year. In this newest year, in this newest year, but so yeah, and I want to thank you who watch or had commented on my videos for this year. Um, for the 500 videos that I've been using, so for the guy who have it, for people who have been subscribing, for people who have been supporting my videos, commenting on my videos throughout this year. I want to say thank you and have a happy new year. So yeah, but we're gonna have to on fish basin one at least one last time. And remember the series best and worst in pro wrestling is now back for this video. Um. So yeah. This year, no, this year, um, for pro wrestling, pro wrestling rise, mediocre, like, and then, like, let's say for the perspective, NSD was great, not. I don't think it was like on the level like last year when there was uh, uh, I don't know if it was like good as last year but but it was still a good year for, a really good year I see. You got a great year for Lucia on the ground. Um all the ladies has for what I heard they have been stepping up this year, so yeah. So all the days and um, NST, um, all the Lucia Underground, and even New Japan for whatever all group. But oh boy, TNA was okay year. Not it was better than last year, Jeff Fourteen, which was horrible. Like I said in the uh, last year's Brands of Worst video. But yeah, yeah, I said to you, man. and WWE, oh boy, <laughs> oh god, this year was, let me tell you, what's, while well, it was, I think, while well, it, really, it was still better than 1995, Maybe even 2010. That year was still very bad. <laughs> bad, 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 bad. Not like complete, like horrible. It was just like nothing really happened this year. Like nothing special. It was none of the moon really set up. Fire of anything. Uh, let's get stuck to the categories. Like I know, tag team of the year. I pick Uso. Uh, no, that I pick the shield the Uso. It's gotta be the least because the shield. If I have fashion of the year last year, I think I have said the shield. I haven't watched it in many of my previous videos, so yeah, but be where I want to say. For Tattoo of the Year, I'm going to say The New Day. <laughs> I mean, they were, they were the most entertaining ass in the whole entire year, WWE. And who a dunk that? That the same theory who me and many others early. Early last year, late last year, had crit critiqued the new day. They have better characters, more. They have a atrocious baby face. 
and when they turn heel, BAM! Tag Team of the Year. <laughs> like, they were really, really fun. So, yeah. Gotta go with the new day, man. <laughs> For the worst... The Ascension. <laughs> <laughs> they have done really nothing this year, so yeah. I believe we'll go for that. Um, Rumor Master, the of the year. Um, gotta go with the boss, Sasha Banks. <laughs> Got to go with Sasha freaking Banks, man. I mean... Sasha Banks has been having clocks and monsters this year. Let's get started, Becky Bailey. I mean, the girl has done a lot of personal matches. Like, she has been killing it in the ring, killing it. And for worst Steve of the year, no, it's not Nikki Bella, no. That's not even giving that to Nikki. It's got to go with Eva Marie. <laughs> because the, the, the girl just came back for a swing and she's still there. Uh, do you remember a match this year? Where, at, where, um, where between her and all the girl where the girl pinned pin Eva and then, and then, like, I think I I think the girl power the kid a bit or the red just like do it like this because a lot of them were really bad and when they really had to boot Eva out of the building so like yeah even if it was faster not worse man, but worse rumors faster they even like, yeah whatever the fuck calls it yeah um story of the year <laughs> oh boy, um, story of the year. You know, there wasn't really a lot of, like, great. Um, gotta go with Bailey versus Sasha Banks. At least I gotta go with that. Just for argument's sake. Um, um, uh, um, where's storyline? You know, I got to go with the Rusev Dolphin or Summer Ray Lana. Oh my god, it was so bad. Really, really, really hated the fear. Hate it. Absolutely. Hey it. It pissed me off so freaking bad. <laughs> so yeah. I mean what the fuck they were thinking in this field. I mean you literally like what the fuck? Like seriously. Best announcer, um Um, I will go with like my striker, I think, for Lucia Underground. Just my opinion. Yeah, I that's our commentary. Worst announcer. <laughs> oh boy. Announcer, the worst announcer. <laughs> oh boy, the wor the worst announcer. I could literally say Michael. <laughs> That's why I'm gonna go for this because I oh he likes fat for dicks. Because that's what he likes. Michael go like dicks this thing. I mean, I mean, I will say Michael Cole just maybe because I know if a other commentator, 
Javier was also bad. <laughs> I mean, this guy, oh my god, he just... He... He's like Michael Cole from 2011, he or Michael Cole. When he start burying all the faces here forever, John Cena comes out. He start breaking the John Cena propaganda bullshit, so yeah. You know what? I actually got a shame with JBL. That's for my face, so yeah. For Michael, so. those two suck, bitches, so yeah. Uh, what other categories? Um, I'm not going to go like all of wrestling, not like categories, like in beer work, backstage in beer backstage in beer, the same thing for that. Backstage interview where um, we announced that uh, I'm not going to go all with that, so yeah. Well, the breakout star year, um, the breakout star of the year, gotta go with Kevin Owens. You got to go with that guy. I mean, Dominic Ryan is the champion. Comment and main roster B. John Cena's first man, I T Champion, Final Four in the Survivor Series for the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Like, the guy has done coming out in 2050, so go go for breakouts of, of the year. So yeah. Um. As far as the match of the year. Worst match in terms of all wrestling. Shasha Benz versus Bailey for NFT Brooklyn because that was the match of it more invested to. So, yeah, this is like all okay. good for all wrestling. Shasha Benz versus Bailey was the match of the year. So, yeah. As far as the worst match, I think you gotta go with the Warrior Rumble. <laughs> Holy shit, the Warrior Rumble. What a feel, Steve, big monkey or crap. Holy shit, this Warrior Rumble. You know, I was thinking last year, oh my mind, that 2014 was worse, but man, did this Rumble nail it. That Rumble was just <laughs> complete god awful match, complete god awful ending. So many wrong with this match. So yeah. As far as my moment of the year, probably said for a as far as moment of the year, um, there was some moments that were I uh, gray. Very, 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 I think you probably gonna have to go with Rollins, Cash the Aim at WrestleMania 31. It's a shy moment, and it's no one has really done that before. At WrestleMania, so yeah, it was really miserable. So that was best one. The worst moment, you know, it could come out to like things Roman Reigns winning, Roy Ramo, Hulk Hogan's racist, fucked up rant. But I think you can go with the two Patrick Ray of two of one all time legend in the best rest, Roy Roy Piper. And the American Dream Dusty Wells. Those deaths were holy shit. They were through the roof, man. It was sad <laughs> to see those two legends gone. Just gone for, for life. So, yeah. We gotta go forward. Show the year pay per view. 
Um, there were so many great pay per view. I think we're coming after like this. Rest of Kingdom 9, I heard that show was great. You can probably say anything if it was like WWE Never. I don't know if it was really a pay per view, but it was still there. You can come to WrestleMania 31. Um. 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 Uh, I think that's really it. For sure, of the year if if NXT take over World Wars pay per view, then I will say it was Stevie. It was probably the show of the year. So yeah, the worst show, Royal Rumble. <laughs> that shit was just bad. Also for worst category one more. Oh, the J still. They also nominated for one more year. You can also say uh, the James Storm, Mickey James bullshit, the TNA did. Oh my God, that was so awful. So yeah. So yeah. That's for that superstar of the year. This will really have to come to all kind of like. For TNA Superstar of the Year, you got to say EC3. You got to say it was EC3. All of age. Um, um, you could probably say um, Jay Leto. Um, I remember in WWE, I have a problem. If I end the season that year, you could probably say I been bother because and New Japan like AJ Styles something and WWE you guys say I Kevin Owens stuff for them and that's why we will say the for rest of the year it's either Kevin Owens or Seth Rollins like. You can say for all because he is a great wrestler, and you can say for Wally because he had my man wrestling. And I'd probably go for a little bit of Wally because he has some comfort. He had he was a very world heavyweight champion for most of this year. He cashed in my man since for the first time at WrestleMania. He was. United States and WWE World Series and that, so you could pretty much and was really made of it for most of the WWE pages. There's a real blessing was well like his tire brain was like not well booked that it was hard to say well but once you take out his tire brain his his year has been really good so yeah Hopefully, 2016 is the better year for most of the companies. Hope and most cases, WWE. Yeah, that, that year was better. Hopefully, it will be a better year than 2015. You could pretty much say for like TNA for most companies, but the most companies had a really good year. So yeah, so probably this the side of. Had a happy new year. Like, subscribe, comment about this year, improve it down in the comment section below. I have some opinion and I have proved this message.